Hi, I wanted to share some stuff that I learned about Vienna Ensemble Pro while setting up my orchestra template for the umpteenth time. It's great, isn't it? Well, here we have Vienna Ensemble Pro. This is actually a remote connection to one of my Vienna Ensemble Pro servers. This thing handles all of my wind instruments. And in fact, I have two uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro instances, one which is called Winds and one called Winds V2. What's the difference? Well, Winds has a single channel, a single contact instance, and in this thing, I have a big rack of all of my woodwind instruments. It's mostly Spitfire symphonic woodwinds uh, with a little bit of ember tone in there, starting from piccolo going all the way down to contrabassoon. In Winds V2, it's a little bit different. I have 16 channels, each corresponding to an individual instrument. So my piccolo channel has a contact instance and it has a single instrument loaded in there, the piccolo. My flute contact, my ember tone flute contact, my Spitfire flutes A2 contact, so yeah, 16 channels, 16 contact instances. Now, this was a, a fun thing to try because it's a little bit weird. I found that this Winds V2 actually has really good performance compared to Winds, even though I have all of these contact instances running. On the lower right, you could actually see the CPU usage as reported by Vienna Ensemble Pro. So in Reaper, I'm gonna go ahead and select all these things and just kind of uh, 2D MIDI this thing. So I can go pretty crazy with it and the CPU gets up to 60s, 70s. just reaches 70 and it sounds fine no weird artifacts or crackling but if I go to the winds instance and I'm going to go to Reaper and play all of those MIDI channels let's check out this sound as well as the CPU usage <laughs> So I'm not even going quite as fast, and I still hear those artifacts. If I go crazy, it uh, maxes out the CPU. It really struggles, and that's really surprising. Looking at Vienna Ensemble Pro in the plugin, it's the same thing. We've got the same buffer settings, buffer one buffer one here as well. I bet if I turn the buffer up that I might be able to get similar sound or at least no artifact. Actually, we still hear a little bit of that crackling artifacts happening there. If I turn it up a little bit more to three buffers, but now the latency is way higher. It sounds a little bit better. You can still see that the CPU is maxing out. Four buffers. Okay, it sounds better, but it's really surprising that the CPU usage is so high. So it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but it seems like the way that I've got it set up here in Winds V2 with multiple channels and multiple contact instruments, each handling just a single instrument, nets better performance. So I just wanted to share that. Maybe someone else would find this useful. I'm going to go spend the rest of my day restructuring my orchestra template. So hope this helped. Bye.